All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Pro. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to go from not having a spin serve to being able to spin serve in literally five minutes. Now, it's probably not gonna look like the one you just saw in the intro, but it'll at least be a spin serve and you'll have the tools that you can progress with over time to get a really nasty spin serve in your arsenal. Prerequisites for this, number one, you have to be able to snap your fingers. I'm sure there's tons of tutorials on YouTube how to do that. Uh, but you gotta be able to snap your fingers on your non-dominant hand. If you don't know how to snap your fingers, just really quick, maybe this will help you. We're using our thumb and our middle fingers, pushing them together super, super hard. Your thumb wants to go up, your middle finger wants to go down, and eventually that pressure overtakes it and snap. So you gotta be able to do this pretty consistently. That's all you have to know how to do, and you gotta have a pickleball. Other than that, nothing else required. Learn how to spin serve, five minutes. For all five minutes, we're not even gonna pick up a paddle. So for the first two minutes, take the ball in your hand. I'm using a Franklin X because it's a little easier to see where you're gonna hold the ball. On these Franklin Xs, I like to put my thumb on the X and my middle finger on the X, like this and like that. And when I snap it, I'm just putting my thumb up, my middle finger down. So for the first two minutes, hold the ball in this position and just get used to getting that motion going. Just start flicking it around, see if you can get some sort of spin going. It doesn't have to be very fast. The whole point of this is you're going to have the tools to know how to get this ball to kick. Okay, but for right now, you don't have to worry about how fast it's flicking. A lot of it can be used just from your wrist. Even just grabbing the ball and kind of like flicking it over like that without a snap is going to work perfectly fine for getting a somewhat effective spin serve. Do that for two minutes. As you get towards the end of that two minutes, what I want you to start thinking about is you need this ball to spin on a perfectly vertical axis. So going like this. If you imagine a wheel or a tire going down the road, it's spinning like this. And if you wanna to turn to the left, the wheel just slightly turns this way. To the right, just slightly turns this way, right? If it ever starts spinning sideways, you've probably wrecked or something. So same thing with the ball. To get this ball to kick and move along the ground, it has to be going perfectly up and down like this okay so it's really important it's not sideways it's straight up and down so for the next minute just work on getting that straight up and down motion and it's okay it doesn't matter where the ball's going at this point we'll fix that in just a minute here but for three minutes by the end of that third minute you should get some sort of straight up and down motion another important thing is it's mainly your middle finger that's initiating the motion and the flick, and it's really just going around your thumb. All right, so now we are three minutes in. We're gonna go to a line. So for the next minute, minute four, we're gonna actually turn our hand so that now the ball is going to kick to the left. And how we're gonna do that, take your index finger on your dominant hand, point it in the direction that you want it to go, make a C with your thumb and your middle finger on your non-dominant hand like you're about to snap the ball. So point your finger, place the C directly on that finger, that's how you're gonna hold the ball. So now holding the ball in this position, I can get that ball to rotate that way so it'll kick to the left. So we're gonna to go to a line, and your goal here is to snap this ball so that when it bounces, it carries along the line. So if I snap this ball, C on the line here, snap the ball, it's gonna kick along the direction of the line. So for the next minute, just come up to the line, you can kind of turn your body more if you need to, but just flex and see where this ball jumps. Okay, it doesn't have to be fast, remember, but it has to be pointing in that direction. This is the entire premise of the spin serve. If you can get this ball to kick in the direction you want it to go, when it bounces, when you hit it with your paddle, it's gonna kick that same exact direction. Okay, so just get this ball to bounce along that direction. Now, last minute, what you're probably seeing is that when you flick this ball up, sometimes it goes to the left, sometimes it goes back towards you, sometimes it just goes straight up. How you adjust that is the angle of your fingers. So if my fingers and my thumb and my middle finger are perfectly flat and I snap this ball, it should go pretty much straight up, pretty much straight up. If I turn to where my middle finger is lower than my thumb, it'll shoot to the left. Here, here. So for me, what I want to have happen is I want this ball to go up and land on my right hip so I can hit it with my paddle. 
So for this next minute, what we're gonna do, take your thumb so that's slightly below your middle finger, so rotate this way, right here, and snap like this. And you're gonna try to catch it in your right hand. So this should ensure that the ball's going to travel up, over, and to the right, like this. This is where you get all that consistency from, just being able to flick it from left to right. Okay, sometimes it's a little bit awkward, it gets kind of towards your body. If that happens, just catch it and keep trying. Really focusing though, if I were to let this ball bounce, it would bounce and kick to the left still, like this. Okay, so we're done, that's five minutes. At this point, you should be able to just take this ball, flick it up, and then hit it with your paddle, and you should get some sort of a spin serve. It might not kick a lot, but it should kick enough to where you can see the ball somewhat move in that direction. So here, and serve. I'm gonna share a couple of other tips with you that are more advanced. So we can hold the ball this way like we've been doing. If we want the ball to kick to the right, we just take that C, point our finger where we want it to go, place the C on your finger, and then we snap it this way, and the ball kicks to the right now. Same thing, go to the line, hold it like this, and you'll see that ball kicks along that direction. If you can't snap it with your non-dominant hand, I have seen people have success snapping it with the dominant hand and then hitting the ball like this. Hold the paddle with your non-dominant hand at the top, snap it with your right hand, and then serve like that. Totally legal, you can also get kicked that way. If you throw in this variation of the serve, the way you snap the ball is gonna look the same, but it'll actually kick the opposite direction. So with my right hand, I snap it, it kicks that way. With my left hand, I snap it, still open, open wrist, it kicks the other way. So if you can add that in too, it's really gonna mess with your opponents. The third advanced tip is that if you're using a paddle with more grit on it, like a carbon paddle or an electron paddle, you're probably not gonna have the same amount of success because the paddle will generate more spin on the ball than you can generate with your hands. For the final advanced tip, I have found a lot of success personally mixing in the different variations of spin serves. So I actually created this way to spin the ball using your middle and index finger instead. So doing this spin serve will give your opponents in a different look and will make them a lot more confused and have a lot harder time trying to return your serve because they don't know what's coming at them. If you want to learn how to do that variation of the spin serve, then click this video right here and you can learn that one pretty fast too.